Hi everyone, you're welcome to today's lesson. Today we'll be talking about more on industrialization. We'll be looking at the localization of industries and the factors that affect the localization of industries. We'll be looking at the advantages and the disadvantages of the localization of industries. We'll also look at the roles of industrialization in economic development of a country. And we'll look at the methods by which governments can encourage industrialization. Now, what do we mean by localization of industries? Localization of industries is the establishment of many industries, many similar industries in a particular area for economic, social, geographical, or political reasons. It is a concentration of industries or firms producing similar products in a particular areas. Now, there are some factors that could affect the localization of industries, the factors that could affect the concentration of industries in a particular area. These factors are the availability of raw materials. Industries will want to locate or site their businesses in an area where they will have closeness to raw materials. Number two, the availability of labor. Number three, the availability of power supply. Number four, the availability of water supply. Number five, for joint research and training. Businesses may want to come together to establish um, joint research and training centers. Number six, the closeness to the market, the nearness to the market. Um, businesses would be useless, products could be useless if they are not able to get to their target market. So the business will have to consider its closeness to the market. Number seven, the climate. Harsh climates are not suitable for the establishment of industries now what are the advantages of localization of industries number one interdependence of firms the firms enjoy mutual benefits from one another because they are together in a particular place they could enjoy benefits like joint purchase of raw materials joint research and training, etc. Number two, it creates employment for the citizens. This is because industries are the greatest employers of labor after agriculture in West Africa. Number three, it leads to the development of subsidiary industries. Number four, it leads to the provision of social amenities either by the government or the existing industries social amenities like security electricity good roads hospital and schools even water number seven it leads to the development of the organized market number eight it leads to urbanization urbanization is a population shift from the rural areas to the urban areas. This would therefore provide a large number of consumers, a large number of labor and development in that area. Number nine, it leads to rural economic development. The economy of the rural areas will be boosted as the rural dwellers will be the ones to supply the raw materials required by these industries. What are the disadvantages of localization of industries? When more and more people keep moving into these industrial areas, the following things could happen. Number one, there will be congestion because of the overpopulation. Number two, there will be shortage of social amenities. This is also because of the overpopulation. Number three, it will cause pollution, both 
air water and so on number four it will cause migration number five it will cause structural unemployment this is also because of overpopulation number six it will lead to social vices that is indiscipline or indecent behavior and number seven it could become a target for destruction now let's see the roles of industrialization in the economic development of a nation or country number one is economic development number two is employment number three is increased productivity number four is reduced prices number five is increased savings number six increased investment and number seven the diversification of the economy now what are the methods by which the government can encourage industrialization one is through the provision of adequate infrastructural facilities such as good roads water supply electricity telecommunication etc the government could also protect infant industries by imposing high import duties on imported commodities so that the young industries at home will be able to grow when there is no competition people patronizing imported goods over the locally made goods number three government could establish industrial estates so that firms can locate there number four the government can give tax holiday to pioneer industries to enhance their growth number five the government could establish higher institutions such as colleges and universities universities of technologies for human resource development and number six the government could establish financial institutions which would give credit facilities to industries for the running of their businesses in summary localization of industries is the concentration of many similar industries in a particular area for economic social geographical or political reasons the methods by which government can encourage industrialization is by the provision of adequate infrastructural facilities the protection of infant industries the establishment of financial institutions that could give credit facilities tax relief etc now let's take this assignment let's answer this question what are the methods by which the nigerian government can encourage industrialization in nigeria thank you guys and see you in the next class